Patagonian Toothfish, Wikipedia article audio. The Patagonian Toothfish, Desostitius elaginoides, is a species of cod icefish found in cold waters between depths of 45 m and 3850 m in the southern Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans and Southern Ocean on seamounts and continental shelves around most sub-Antarctic islands. Name Ecology Management Compliance Legal fishing Illegal fishing Seafood chooser organizations Notes A close relative, the Antarctic toothfish, is found farther south around the edges of the Antarctic shelf, and a Marine Stewardship Council certified fishery is active in the Ross Sea. The average weight of a commercially caught Patagonian toothfish is 7-10 kg, depending on the fishery, with large adults occasionally exceeding 100 kg. They are thought to live up to 50 years and to reach a length up to 2.3 m. Several commercial fisheries exist for Patagonian toothfish which are detailed below. This species is also sold under the trade names Chilean sea bass in the United States and Canada, Merluza negra in Argentina, Peru and Uruguay, Legend Austral in France, Mero in Korea, Japan and Spain, and Bacala auto profundidad in Chile. The name Chilean sea bass was invented by a fish wholesaler named Lee Lance in 1977. He was looking for a name that would make it attractive to the American market. He considered Pacific sea bass and South American sea bass before settling on Chilean sea bass. In 1994, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration accepted Chilean sea bass as an alternative market name for Patagonian toothfish, and in 2013 for Antarctic toothfish. In the UK, the approved commercial designations for D. elaginoides and D. mozani are icefish and toothfish. This has created some confusion as there is a genuine icefish caught in sub-Antarctic waters which does not resemble toothfish in any way. Patagonian toothfish spawn in deep water during the austral winter, producing pelagic eggs and larvae. Larvae switch to a demersal habitat at around 100 m and inhabit relatively shallow water until 6-7 years of age, when they begin a gradual migration into deeper water. As juveniles in shallow water, Toothfish are primarily passivorous, consuming the most abundant suitably sized local prey. With increasing size and habitat depth, the diet diversifies and includes more scavenging of squid, fish, and crustaceans. In turn, toothfish constitute a small part of the diets of sperm whales, southern elephant seals, and colossal squid. As most toothfish fisheries are managed in accordance with Camelra regulations and conservation measures, it should be noted that Camelra adopts an ecosystem approach which requires that all other living resources of the Southern Ocean are treated as an integrated system where effects on predator, prey and related species are considered, and decisions on sustainable harvesting levels are made on the basis of sound internationally peer-reviewed scientific advice. Commercial fishing of toothfish is managed by the Commission for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources inside the Camel Convention area which spans the Antarctic continent and waters between 45 degrees south and 60 degrees south. Some fisheries inside territorial waters within the convention area are managed separately by countries with territorial waters taking camel management practices into account. Toothfish fisheries outside the camel convention area in the coastal waters of Argentina, Chile and Uruguay are managed by the relevant coastal state. However, 
these fisheries are still subject to the camel or catch documentation scheme which tracks the trade of toothfish from the point of unloading to the point of final consumption. In the legal toothfish fisheries managed by Camelra and countries with territorial waters, the most common method is fishing by long lines. A small quantity of toothfish is caught by trawling. For all methods of legal fishing for toothfish, there are minimal interactions with, and risks to, seabirds. This is a result of requirements for legal operators to use mitigation devices or approaches such as. In 2011 the Camel Scientific Committee Chair, David Agnew, was quoted as saying levels of seabird mortality are negligible in most areas, with the one region yet to achieve these near zero results having reduced seabird interactions by over 98% from their peak levels, and have continued to improve each year. Trawling generally catches toothfish in the smaller size range, which requires calculations to be made at the annual stock assessment meetings of Camel to take these catches of smaller sized fish into account, and lowers the overall available catch of toothfish by trawl. Camelver has prohibited all trawl fishing in high seas waters and exploratory fisheries. To minimize the risk of long-term adverse effects on target species, bycatch species, and marine ecosystems, Camelver uses a number of compliance systems to monitor fishing activities in the convention area. This includes the catch documentation scheme for Patagonian toothfish and Antarctic toothfish was one measure that ensured reductions in illegal fishing for toothfish and reduced the scope for trade in illegally caught fish. The CDs is an innovative online catch document information system developed to identify legal toothfish harvested, which tracks toothfish from the point of landing throughout the trade cycle to point of sale. The CDs requires verification and authorization by national authorities at regular intervals in the trade cycle. Identification of the origin of toothfish entering the ports and markets of CDs parties is essential. The Coalition of Legal Toothfish Operators, Inc. is a toothfish fishing industry body whose members represent around 85% of the legal toothfish catch worldwide. Seven of the fisheries that are fished by Colto members are now independently certified by the Marine Stewardship Council as sustainable and well-managed fisheries. Commercial fishing of Patagonian and Antarctic toothfish is managed by Camel around most of the sub-Antarctic and Antarctic regions, however a fishery that lies within a nation's exclusive economic zone is managed by that nation taking into account management recommendations and approaches by Cam Elmer. In 2004, the South Georgia Toothfish Fishery was the first toothfish fishery to be MSC certified, and was recertified in 2009 and 2014, as all MSC certified fisheries must be audited annually, and fully reassessed every five years. Currently, the South Georgia total allowable catch is 2,400 tons, and there are six long-line vessels being operated by four companies in this fishery, which is managed by the UK Overseas Territory of South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands. The Ross Sea Fishery was the second toothfish fishery to be independently evaluated and certified by the MSC as sustainable and well-managed. This fishery catches mainly Antarctic toothfish, a close relative to the Patagonian toothfish. The Heard Island and McDonald Islands fishery was certified as a sustainable and well-managed fishery by the MSC in March 2012 and is operated under Australian jurisdiction in a manner consistent with Camel regulations. There are four vessels operated by two Australian companies. The Camel determined tack is 3,405 tons of toothfish for the 2016-17 season.
The Macquarie Island toothfish fishery is within the Australian EEZ, and is situated outside the Camel Convention area within FAO Statistical Area 81, though it is managed in a complementary way with the conservation measures adopted by Camel. In May 2012, this was the fourth toothfish fishery to gain MSC certification. There are two Australian companies that are allocated to catch 450 tonnes of toothfish in 2017-18. France regulates Patagonian toothfish in the waters surrounding the French islands in the South Indian Ocean, with scientific oversight from the National Museum of Natural History. These fisheries are located around the Kerguelen Islands and the Crozet Islands. Fishing authorizations have been granted to six fishing companies based out of Reunion Island. The tack for the Kerguelen Island fishery is 5,050 tons and was certified by the MSC in September 2013. The current tack for the Crozet Islands fishery is 1,300 tons, and was certified by the MSC in 2017. The Falkland Islands, a self-governing British overseas territory, also has a toothfish fishery and was awarded MSC certification in 2014. The Falklands do not fall in the Camel Convention area, though regulations on fishing methods, science and management mirror Camel requirements. The tack is currently 1,040 tons and is caught by a sole long line vessel. Combined, over 50% of all legally harvested toothfish is independently assessed and certified by the MSC as being from sustainable and well-managed fisheries. The Chilean toothfish fishery is separated into two separate fleets. The artisanal fleet of small boats operates in the region north of 47 degrees south inside the Chilean EEZ and eight vessels from the industrial fleet operate south of 47 degrees south inside the Chilean EEZ as well as on the high seas both within and outside Camelver waters. The tack for the industrial fleet is determined each year by the Chilean government based on biological studies carried out by both public and private scientific bodies. The current Chilean tack for the industrial fleet is 1,656 tons that is caught by three companies. Since 2006, artisanal fleet catches have fluctuated between 2,091 tons and 1,558 tons per annum. Its current quota is 1,491 tons. Argentina has a toothfish fishery off its coastline that is managed by the Argentine Federal Fisheries Council under recommendations from the National Fisheries Research Institute. This season the Argentine tack is 3,700 tons that is caught by five vessels from four companies. The Prince Edward and Marion Islands toothfish fishery is managed and regulated by branch fisheries part of the South African Minister of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries. The South African Marine Resource Authorities fully supports and follows all camel conservation measures. The current tack is 575 tons and is fished by two vessels belonging to two fishing companies slash cooperatives with catches having been restricted significantly following excessive illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing in those waters in the late 1990s. Tax from this fishery have slowly started to increase as the stock begins to recover. The total allowable catch of toothfish worldwide is around 28,300 tons in 2017 with around 85% of this coming from Colto members, and 56% of the total catch now being independently certified as coming from sustainable and well-managed fisheries by the Marine Stewardship Council. In the late 1990s to early 2000s, illegal, 
unreported and unregulated fishing for toothfish nearly collapsed some fisheries in the Southern Ocean. Though, since 2005, because of Camel member nations, government patrol vessels, NGOs, media exposure and a trade and port state measures, IUU fishing has been all but eliminated from within countries' exclusive economic zones, and until 2015 a relatively small portion of IUU fishing still occurred in high seas areas. In 2014 and 2015 there were several major campaigns to eliminate IUU fishing for toothfish. This included the Sea Shepherd campaign, Operation Icefish, which pursued one of the vessels, the Thunder, for 110 days before it was scuttled. Operations by the Royal New Zealand Navy the Royal Australian Navy, Interpol, and governments of Spain, Thailand, Malaysia and Indonesia all combined to successfully apprehend, arrest and prosecute all of the remaining six IUU vessels fishing illegally for toothfish on the high seas. At the peak of IUU fishing, illegal catches were estimated to be 32,000 tons in 1997 with approximately 55 vessels believed to be active. By 2010, IUU catches had fallen to an estimated 1,615 tons, all taken in high seas areas, with just four IUU fishing vessels reported to be active. This was a decrease in IUU fishing by over 95% since the mid-1990s. Camelra estimated in 2012 that 90% of IUU catches at the time were of Antarctic toothfish, not Patagonian toothfish. Camelra annually reviews information on IUU fishing activities in the convention area and has established a contracting party and a non-contracting party IUU vessel list. Vessels included on the IUU vessel lists have engaged in IUU activities in the convention area and undermined the effectiveness of conservation measures thereby threatening toothfish stocks, marine habitats, and bycatch species. Vessels are included on the IUU vessel lists after a consensus decision from the Commission based on set criteria. This measure, combined with additional surveillance by member nations, catch documentation schemes has played a significant part in the reduction of IUU fishing for toothfish. In the past, France sold some fishing rights to Japanese and other foreign fisheries but because of IUU fishing, rights are now reserved for French fishers based at Reunion Island. Because of previous poaching, the French Navy and Australian customs vessels still work in concert, patrolling both French and Australian EEZs, having made numerous arrests and seizures in the late 1990s to early 2000s. An Australian customs vessel, the Southern Supporter, was involved in the renowned chase and apprehension of an IUU vessel in the 2003 Viresaw incident that stretched over 7,200 kilometres. Seasonal fishery closures during the summer months due to increase in seabird abundance for chick rearing, no setting of hooks during the daytime, no fishing without having a bird scaring line trailing out the back of the boat to keep birds away from the hooks, bird exclusion devices or brickle curtain to be used on 100% of hauls, boats must use weighted long lines so that the baits and hooks sink before the birds can grab them, limitations on release of offal overboard at the same time as the setting or hauling of lines. Vessel licensing monitoring of transshipments, vessel and port inspection systems, automated satellite-linked vessel monitoring systems, catch document scheme. Only marine fisheries products validated as legal by the relevant flag state or exporting state can be imported to or exported from the EU, a European blacklist having been drawn up covering both IUU vessels and states that turn a blind eye to illegal fishing activities, 
EU operators who fish illegally anywhere in the world, under any flag, face substantial penalties proportionate to the economic value of their catch, which deprive them of any profit. Best Choice Heard Island and McDonald Islands Fishery, Macquarie Island Fishery, Falkland Islands Fishery, Good Alternative South Georgia Fishery, Kerguelen Islands Fishery, Ross Sea Antarctic Toothfish Fishery, Avoid Prince Edward and Marion Island Fishery, Chile, Crozet Islands Fishery, Not Rated Argentina. Tax for legal operators in Camelra are set, taking into account the estimated IUU catches from past years, and any current IUU activity that may be occurring in the different fisheries. In some fisheries this has meant a considerable reduction in legal catches an example of this is the Australian Heard Island and McDonald Islands fishery, where the legal tack was 3,800 tons in 1996-97. This was dropped to a minimum of 2,427 tons by 2006-07 with a substantial portion of that decline attributed to the IUU catches taken from the fishery between 1996 and 2002. Since then there has been zero IUU fishing in that fishery, and the legal tack has steadily increased. In addition to the catch documentation system mentioned above, USA regulations do not allow tooth fish imports without valid disostitious catch documents, and dealer permit and pre-approval certificates issued in advance by NOAA. In addition, Tooth fish must be caught from vessels equipped with satellite-linked automated VMS that track vessel movements from port to port to ensure compliance with set quotas and boundaries. All vessel VMS data must be reported to the centralized CAMELRA system, with confirmation to USA required that it has occurred, in order for any products from those boats to be imported into the United States. As revealed by the Black Spider memos, Charles, Prince of Wales was worried about the future for the species. An open reply noted that seabirds had indeed been protected in toothfish fisheries globally, and that IUU fishing was virtually eliminated. The EU has also imposed requirements against IUU fishing that include Patagonian toothfish is currently listed by the Monterey Bay Aquarium on its seafood watch list and pocket guides. In April 2013, Seafood Watch produced an updated report, indicating new ratings for some fisheries, which allocates approximately 78% of toothfish caught worldwide, which are as follows. In 2010, Greenpeace International added the Patagonian toothfish to its seafood red list. The Greenpeace International seafood red list is a list of fish that are commonly sold in supermarkets around the world, and which have a very high risk of being sourced from unsustainable fisheries. Greenpeace have not updated their rating of toothfish since the 2013 Monterey Bay Aquarium review.